Welcome back to Bridgeview. We're now in the middle section of our three-part series on permanent cables. Last episode, we learned all about the parts and pieces that are involved in the cable installation process. And today we have Mike Schramm, the cable stay engineer with Kiewit Infrastructure West, joining us to talk about the cable installation process. Hey, Mike. Hi, Deanne. All right, so let's see if I learned my parts and pieces last time. Before we can install any strand, we need the anchor block installed underneath the bridge deck, okay? We need the formwork tube installed actually through the bridge deck, and then we need the HDPE pipe or its protective coating um, installed or hoisted up between the deck and the tower pylon. And then finally, and most importantly, we need our saddle already cast into the tower pylon concrete. Is that right? That's right. All right, good deal. So once we have all of those into place, we can install the strand. So walk me through the process. I know you get the strand on spools, so what's your, what's your steps? All right, so the first thing we do is we set up here on the back part of the bridge, uh -huh. we have an uncoiler frame, which allows us to spool the cables off of the spools. And we set up a pusher, and that allows us to push the strand up through the white HDPE duct okay. or pipe. Uh -huh. And we, are, we push it up to the saddle. Okay, so once it's at the saddle, um, how do you know which little hole in the saddle the strand goes into? And, and how does somebody get up there to even feed it in? Yeah, so we have a, we have a small basket that our guys ride up. Huh. And it allows them to access the work up there. Okay. And I, we give them a map similar to this oh, one. Oh, right. And it shows them exactly which hole okay. in the saddle to put it in. I see. Okay. And then once the strand is through the saddle, it takes the same course on the other side of the pylon back down to the deck. Um, and then what's the next step once it's through all of those parts and pieces? So once it's installed in the saddle and centered up, the guys on the deck will strip some of the black sheathing off. Okay. And at that point, they can install it into the anchor yeah, and yeah. it's ready for stressing. Stressing, which is the next step in the process, right? Yep. And we'll learn about that next time. So tell me a little bit about the strands and the saddles. How many saddles per tower pylon and how many strands uh, from the, the lowest to the highest saddle? So there's 10 different saddles okay. in the pylon and they range from 30, around 30, to 110 strands. Wow, so you're able to handle the heavier load by adding more strands as you go up the tower pylon. That's correct. Got it, all right, that's fascinating. Mike, thanks so much for dropping by today. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's all the time we have today for Bridgeview. Next time, we'll take care of the third part of our three-part series on permanent cables and learn about the stressing process. See you next time on Bridgeview.